Hello, I'm Kendra Von Esch, and you are listening to my 10-minute daily podcast, Reality Reflections. I bought into what this world said would make me happy. Money, prestige, power. And hey, if it feels good, do it, because life is stressful, so party hard. Do whatever makes you happy. But that didn't quite work out, because I felt even more insecure, full of fear, shame, and anxiety, and never, ever good enough. Then God found me and flipped my reality upside down and transformed my life. And I want this for everyone. So I left my executive career to help others find true acceptance, supernatural peace, joy, and love that only comes from a relationship with God. Here is my reality reflection for today. All right, this podcast is way late, but it for a good reason. So my son, Jake, the oldest, over the fall, went to a Chicago White Sox game, which is a baseball team, and he has super long hair and this crazy mustache that he grew since COVID. I mean, it's, I want him to shave it. (laughs) I want him to shave it so bad because I'm like, dude, you're not going to find a girl if you keep that thing on your face, you know, but sure enough, guess what happens? Jimmy Fallon, the late night show, ended up having a viewer send in a picture of Jake with his hat on and the mustache and the hair and all this stuff. So Jimmy Fallon last night ended up having him on his show, didn't have him on live, had a picture of him. And then WGN, the following morning, which is today, had him on their live worldwide broadcast. So it's been a crazy morning in the Von Ash house. It's really exciting. Jake did a great job speaking. Uh, Who knows, maybe Jimmy Fallon will invite him on to his show, but I think it was it was just an amazing morning. And I'm so excited and jazzed. I just, uh, I'm going to put the actual interview on my YouTube channel. I'll also share it on all my social. So if you're curious about it, check it out there. But that's not the point of the podcast, just the point of why I'm so late. And let's talk about love. Perfect love. Perfect love that is not filled with fear or resentment or jealousy. We all can have that perfect love in God. So I'm going to read the first readings to you because that's where this all started for me. Big deep breath. Try to get this excitement out of me and calm down. Okay. Beloved. If God so loved us, we also must love one another. No one has ever seen God. Yet, if we love one another, God remains in us, and his love is brought to perfection in us. This is how we know that we remain in him and he in us, that he has given us his spirit. Moreover, We have seen and testify that the Father sent his Son as the Savior of the world. Whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in him and he in God. We have come to know and to believe in the love God has for us. God is love. And whoever remains in love remains in God and God in him. In this is love brought to perfection among us, that we have confidence on the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear, because fear has to do with punishment. And so one who fears is not yet perfect in love. Now that is a reading. That is a killer reading. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear 
because fear has to do with punishment. And so, one who fears is not yet perfect in love. Wow. If God is within us, we should be loving differently. We should be loving our neighbors differently. We shouldn't be jealous or angry or resentment, resentful or be filled with resentment for someone. We shouldn't be jealous. We shouldn't hold part of our love back from someone because we're scared that they don't love us as much as we love them. It's quite interesting where I think of God who loves and loves and loves and loves. God is love. Not love is love. God is love. God never stops loving. And yet here we are, such broken people who use love as a bartering chip as control over someone else, as ways to manipulate people. Not all of us with everyone, but we've all used love to gain things for ourselves. Or we have held back love because we were afraid, afraid of getting hurt afraid of not having those feelings reciprocated. But with God, we know that there is love, always love for us, no matter what we do, no matter what we say. God is always there loving us, and that is the perfect love that we need to continue to shine on the world. because that's all anybody really wants is to be loved. Not with any strings attached, not if I do something to deserve love, but we all want the love, the perfect love that God has for us. So if there's any relationship in your life right now that doesn't have that perfect love, where you're holding something back or you're angry or you won't forgive or you're afraid that that person just won't love you so you hold back your love from them, let's love like God. Because when we love God, we have God within us, and God should be coming and beaming right out through us to everyone that we see. And if that's not happening, then let's sit down and ask the Lord to change our hearts, purify our hearts, to help our hearts love like he loves us. 100% with no fear, no worry. It's like running up to someone that you love so much. Maybe you're in, an, in a fight with them or you're not on the best of terms right now. But running up to them and opening your arms and wrapping them around that person and just saying, I love you, I love you, I love you. And not worrying about what is going to come out of the other person's mouth, whether they'll accept it, whether they'll reject it. That's free, God-like love. Maybe you can try it. Maybe you've got someone that you can just text, pick up the phone, go over to their house, and just shower your free, unconditional love on them. Because that is all that you and me and every person on this planet 
really desires is to be loved like God loves us. So let's pray for that perfection of love within our hearts. Let's shower that love on everyone we know. Let's be love and be light today. All right, everyone, I love you all. Find something more with God. Have a blessed and inspired day.